in Jackson section 3.7, after deriving the uh, serious solution for basal function, he uh, said that uh, you can use those uh, serious solutions to derive the recurrence formulas for basal functions, but he didn't show the derivation, so I'll show you how to uh, do that. So now, first, uh, this is what we got from last time, the form of the solution, the series solution for basal functions. Is, this is for J of order new. So to derive the recurrence formula, first uh, we got, we can use that to write down the series solution for J new plus one and J new minus one. So this is plus one. Okay, this is not very good. New plus one. Okay. Uh, now that is uh, just this form. And then change new to new plus one, so to come new plus two. And this is x over two to j plus new plus one. Okay, so uh, so that's that. Uh, what you want to do later is uh, try to get uh, something like what what you have here and put the extra thing, uh, put the extra factor out. So now that comparing this form and this form first, uh, this is a gamma function. So new plus two, but you can use the gamma function, the property, so, so gamma function, gamma z plus one is equals to z, gamma z. Okay, so uh, you can change this gamma j plus new plus one to, uh, uh, to actually, to uh, a, another thing similar to this, uh, uh, using this formula, but uh, before we do that, actually we want to uh, change the index, shift the index j. This is 2j, and now the first thing you, you want to do is uh, change to, so keep everything first. And you can write it as j plus one also, you write it as j plus one and that you get, get a negative sign in front. So that becomes a, a change to the j plus one factorial. And then uh, you change it to, uh, to, uh, divided by j, uh, let's, let's keep it j first, j factorial. Let's do it one at a time, j factorial. And this gamma, you change it to gamma j plus one, and then plus new plus one. Okay, so this is, uh, try to get something similar to here. So you have x over two, so two j plus one plus new, and then you need to minus one. Okay, so you get something similar, except that uh, now um, you want to move the index so instead of uh, j plus one here, you, you you shift the index. So this j plus one becomes a new j. So this becomes a new j, okay? And so the old j is uh, the new j minus one. This becomes j minus one. So 
and you have x to factor x over two in. This is minus one, so it is a two over x sum over. Now, if uh, the new j is from one, because uh, the old j is from zero, so this is one to infinity, and you have a negative sign, get out, then you have minus one to the j power. Then the, the j factorial becomes j minus one factorial, but you can write j minus one factor as j factorial and then cancel with a j in the numerator and that you have j plus nu plus one. Okay, and everything else is uh, two j plus nu. Okay, so this is uh, just shifting the index from j plus one, now you call it j and you integrate uh, sum of from one to infinity. Okay, so that's the uh, a new form. This form is very similar to the original form, except you have a j in here. And because of this j factor, the summation actually can start from zero because uh, at j equals zero, this j factor will make it zero. So that doesn't matter. So we can change the limit from j from zero to infinity, just like what we had before. Now, this is very similar to this form. So, now we'll do the same thing for j to all the new minus one, new minus one x. So do the same thing. You have minus one to the j minus, a j minus one to the j, and j factorial gamma j plus new minus one. Okay, a minus one, j new, new minus one plus one, so it becomes j minus new, okay. And then this becomes x over two, two j minus one, uh, two j plus new minus one. Okay, so comparing this change new to new minus one. Okay, so you have this one. So, uh, with this one, uh, what you need to do is uh, not uh, that not that much as the as what we had uh, with j nu plus one. So, the minus one factor in uh, power of x over two, you can just pull this out. That becomes two over x. And again, keep this j first, then j factorial. Now this one, you can use this directly. So this becomes uh, a gamma j plus nu minus one times uh, j, I should say, you can change this to here. So this one is gamma, uh, it's j plus nu times gamma j plus nu. So gamma j plus nu here is this one divided by uh, j, uh, j plus nu. So you can write like gamma j plus nu plus one. So in the denominator and multiply by j plus nu. And that becomes uh, two j plus nu. Okay, so this one changed to here, this one changed to this, this one changed to this, okay. So now the, you can do two uh, ad, addition of the two or the difference of the two and get the two recurrence form. So j nu, nu plus one x as a function of x plus j nu minus one as a function of x equals two. To add the, add the two together. So, so all the forms are the same. So two for x, two for x and Everything are the same except the numerator. Now you have j plus nu, and you add that, you minus j. So basically, cancel the j, you only have a nu left. And nu doesn't involve in the summation, you can pull that out, so it becomes 2 nu over x. And the rest of the summation is just the same. 
plus mu plus one x over two two j plus mu. Okay, so this form is just the same as this one. So this one is just the same as this one. So that equals to two nu over x j nu x. Okay, so that's the first uh, recurrence formula. You've added the two uh, Bessel function with the order difference by two, so it's nu minus one to nu plus one. Then you get this two nu for x times j nu. All right, so that's that the first. The second one is subtract the two. So uh, depends on how you want to write it. So you can subtract this one from this one because there's a minus sign. You subtract this one from this one, this becomes a plus. Okay, so you write uh, minus j nu plus one plus one. x plus j nu minus one x. Okay, so now you add the two. So what you have is uh, everything the same. So this j is added to j plus nu becomes two j plus nu, two over x. J. So minus one j power j, two j plus nu. And then j factorial gamma j plus u y plus one x to the two two j plus u. Okay, and this two j plus u looks like uh, you are when you do a uh, derivative of the original j nu, you do a derivative of, with respect to x, you will pull out 2j plus nu out, and what you get is x over 2, 2j plus nu minus one, okay? And then multiply by one half, because you take a derivative of x over two, okay? And that x over two, this minus one becomes a two over x in here, so this combined with here, so you still have a one half left. So you, if you do it, write it as a derivative, you need to multiply by two. So what you get is a two of uh, d dx of j nu x. Okay, so that is uh, the second recurrence formula. And so these two are derived from j, but the similar relationship uh, can apply for the Neumann function n nu because n nu is just defined as combination of j nu and j minus nu. So they satisfy the same recurrence formula and also the Hankel's function, Hankel's function one and two, because they, again, they are just a linear combination between j nu and n nu. So they satisfy the same recurrence formula. Okay, but not for the associate uh, Basel function, they set, satisfy different, somewhat different uh, recurrence formula because uh, they define with some i factor in the arguments and uh, and the factor in front. So that need to be a, a little careful. So, all right, so this is the discussion of the recurrence formula.